Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I want to just kind of talk real quickly. Some people left some comments on the trivia video and I want to address that comment because they're right, I misspoke. So let me jump over to my desktop. And if we take a look, we're looking at AdGuard Home, their latest again. And if we take a look, the libraries affected are libcrypto3 and libssl3. And here's the vulnerability for that. And here is kind of more information on that vulnerability. <clears throat> The severity is medium and the status is fixed. But when I said the status was fixed, that meant I, I, I made it seem as though it was fixed in the container. And that's how I presented it and I was wrong. Basically the, this version 3.13-R0 is the version of those libraries that's installed in AdGuard Home. The fixed version is 3.14-R0. So technically the container won't be fixed until they implement version 3.14-R0. So, so that was that was a miscommunication on my part. I wasn't thinking about how I was wording that. So basically, yes, there is a fix, but no, it has not been implemented yet until they get to that 3.14-R0 version of those libraries. And that would be true for all of the different containers that we've looked at uh, in any of the different containers that you, you might uh, scan with this. Uh, make sure that the fixed version is also the installed version. Of course, if that was the case, it probably wouldn't show up in this, uh, in, in these reports. So just, I, I take responsibility for having misspoke on that. And I just wanted to correct the, the way I said that. I should also point out that oftentimes these CVE vulnerabilities come from the base operating system that the container is based on, not necessarily the container itself. So I, I, I apologize for, for putting all of that blame on the developers of the application and not, and not calling attention to the fact that a lot of these are coming from the base operating system that the container uses. I, I hope that better explains what I was trying to get across and failed at miserably. So thank you for everybody who left their comments. I do appreciate you calling me out on, on where I made a mistake. Uh, I'm going to get this uh, uploaded and, uh, and, and in the comments as quickly and, and in the description, obviously, as quickly as possible. Uh, just know I own it. I, I made a mistake. I misspoke. And thank you guys for calling me out on it and making sure that I understood what the issue was here and what was really going on. So uh, I, thank you for that. Uh, please enjoy the video and I will talk to you guys next time.